All right, everybody, welcome back. Or back. All right, everybody, here's Jim Bowser Jr. Welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last video, we came to Saturn Valley, took care of a few things, got extra items, boosted everybody up, and now we get to go to big old Belch's place. He's the next boss, and he's the one that's been stealing Mr. Saturns and forcing them into slavery. Not cool. Not cool at all. Well, we're just attacking. Aww, mess. Alright, there we go. Good stuff. Beat it. Woohoo! Alright, alright, alright. I went in here, and all there was in that cave was a bottle rocket, which I got. It's always useful to have bottle rockets, especially for Jeff. It's always a good idea. Violet Roach is probably one of my least favorite sprites. It's just kind of gross looking. Definitely don't like it. But whatever. And now we are back. Out here. Oh, lots of enemies. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, crocodiles. What in the hell? Let's try that again, shall we? Ah, fine. I'll do it. At least I'm in better shape. Eh, yes, Paula, let's use some fire. Actually, uh, let's use some freeze. Woohoo! Damn, that was good, Paula. Alright. Farm zombie. I feel like the frog is going to be the hardest thing to take out. Yeah. <laughs> Did something very mysterious. You know, I'm going to just bash the hell, out of the, the hell out of that zombie. And use freeze beta on the frog. Because otherwise it's not going to just die. Woohoo! Yay. That was better. Yay, level 22, offense went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3, maximum PP went up by 1. Jeff's level is now 20, offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, speed went up by 2, vitality went up by 1. Oh baby, IQ went up by 4. Luck went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 13. That is probably one of the best levels I've gotten for Jeff. God, IQ going up by 4, that is just like, so awesome. Can I avoid? No. Okay. You guys know what time it is? The farm zombie and its cohorts. I just want to see the plain crocodile. To be honest, for all the times that I've been in Grapefruit Falls Valley area, I've never battled one of the crocodiles. This is a new thing for me. And so if that doesn't take out the armored frog, then that should. And bam. Yay. Oh no, not Jeff. And bam! Woohoo! Oh, what? Playing crocodiles that look resilient. There we go. Yay! Wow! That is a lot of experience. Especially inside of Belch's factory, it's a very, very good place to um, level up. Yay, Jeff got over the cold. I don't want to battle more guys. Like, seriously. Nope, crocodile. Get out of the way, crocodile. There we go. That's a good boy. Alright. Oh! Look who it is! Woohoo! Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Alright, always bring back the fondest of memories. No problem here. Okay, then we're here. Say the password! Whoops, I may have done that wrong. Hang on. Say the password. And now I think we wait for three minutes. I don't know if I'm supposed to press... There we go. Now we're just waiting, not touching the controller or anything. So, 
For this three minutes, I've decided I might just do a little bit of question and answer. There have been a lot of people just asking me a few questions, and um, I'm just kind of going to go through four of them that have been asked frequently. Question number one. What is my favorite Legend of Zelda game? That's a tough one. I really love all of them. They're all a lot of fun. Particularly, I love Wind Waker. It's just, I love the cell shading, and Toon Link is one of my favorite characters, and he's just really cool, and I love the game, and I don't know. That's just probably one of my favorites. I also love Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess was just cool, but creepy at the same time. But yeah, Wind Waker is probably my favorite. Okay, also asked, what is my favorite starter Pokemon? Or kind of which of the starters is my favorite? In general, I'll just kind of go general right now. I love Johto region Pokemon the best from Gold and Silver version. Um, the original 150 were awesome, but in my opinion, the second 100 were even better. That's kind of when they kind of upped their game a little bit and got really creative. But then came Ruby and Sapphire, and I feel like their creativity went down a bit, and the Pokemon got a little lamer. So my favorite starters are for sure the Johto starters. I probably like Cyndaquil and Totodile the best, because their final evolutions were really badass and awesome. Uh, another question I've been asked frequently is what my favorite game is. That's also a really tough one because I have tons of favorite games. Um, Earthbound is definitely one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. And um, another one of my favorites is uh, Skies of Arcadia. Not a lot of people know about it, but it's for Sega Dreamcast, and I love it. And there's definitely the possibility of doing an LP for it later on. So then, yeah, I just really love it. And then Zelda games and all that, but Skies of Arcadia has just consistently been my favorite. And finally, for other LPs, people have asked me if I'm going to do other Harvest Moon games or just kind of other games in general, if I'm going to do Zelda games. I'm intending on finishing Spirit Tracks soon. I'm looking at getting a camera soon so that I'll be able to film it myself. And yeah, so there's there's a lot kind of being planned. I'm not, I've kind of decided I'm, I'm not going to do Mother 3 after I finish Earthbound. I'm going to delay that for another time because... I don't want to do Earthbound stuff all through for a certain amount of time, so it'll it'll change. But I'll surprise you guys once I'm done with Earthbound. So that is, those are all the questions that I'm answering for now. If you have any more, leave it in the comments. And look at that, now we may enter. Perfect, that was just three minutes. And now we are in Belch's factory. And then we already have a little mini. Did you bring some fly honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Yes. I'm sure you don't drop it. So now we don't have to battle him. But look who we have here. Foppies. Yeah, Foppies are the best. They give tons of experience. And they're really easy to beat. So it's well worth taking on six at a time. And getting a lot of experience just to level up. Here we go, we have another Foppy right here. Ooh, back attack. Yay, that was a nice, easy one. Alright, in here we have a bomb. And three zombies. I was not expecting that. Farm zombie and its cohorts. Um, mm, eh, let's just use, I'll use a rock and elf on all of them, and then we'll bash the rest of them. Let's see how this does. Okay, good. The colors of the background are really nice in this battle. I'm liking that. Alright. Woohoo! Nice. Yay, Ness's level is now 26. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 3. Maximum HP went up by 2. Jeff's level is now 21. Defense went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. It's good for Master Belch to get... Hang on, bomb inside, Jeff takes it. It's good to get around level 25, at least with all the characters. Right now, Jeff is my lowest level. Let's see, at level, hey, 21. So that's not bad. So we'll probably be able to get him to level 25 by the time we get to Master Belch. Okay. And Foppies. I just like Foppies are the best. 
no more levels right now. All right, heading downstairs or down the ladder. Seems like it's kind of inconvenient to have ladders in a factory. Okay, we have a lot of hoppies in this situation. You're best off using big PSI and then just kind of gaining the experience because there is a magic butterfly room later on. Oh no, not Smash. No. Yeah, there is a PSI magic butterfly in a room that you can kind of go to to regenerate all your PSI. So be, you can be liberal with your PSI in this area while you level up. Alright. Let's go life up. Uh, I don't need much more than an alpha. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, moving on. We now have a downstairs, a little extra downstairs. And we run right into a battle. Oh well. This little... The door down here is well worth it. Okay. Yay! Defeated. Yay, Paula's level is now 23. Off went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. And maximum PP went up by 4. Good level. Not awesome, but good. Enemies, four zombies. No! Oh my god, they are all over the place. Okay, Rock and Beta it is. Yes. Woohoo! Yay! Yay! Good stuff! Haha! -ha. Defeated! Alright, so let's see, I'm probably way out of goods. So, I'm just gonna actually... Croissant use on Paula? And then... Bread roll, these are really weak, so I'll give that to Ness. Just so that he can eat it. Trash can. There's a broken laser inside. This is a really, really good item for... For uh, Jeff. And then... There's also an IQ capsule. Uh, maybe if I can give it to Jeff? No. I need to give it to Jeff so that he can use it. He can use... I already have a broken... I already fixed a broken spray can, so I'm just gonna drop that. Goods. Paula. IQ capsule. Give. To Jeff. Goods. Jeff. IQ capsule. Use. Oh, okay. Use on himself. Went up by one. Woohoo. And, yes, no poppies right here. And then we have, look at that, conveyor belt with Mr. Saturns. And then these mini guys avoid me. So Mr. Saturns are being enslaved, as we can see. Not a very good fate for them. But, you know, it happens, I guess. Okay. Yay, Jeff's level is now 22. Offense went up by 1, and Maxim HP went up by 2. Nice brief level. I kind of get tired sometimes of saying the entire level every time. So you're the ones who destroyed the zombies that I assigned to 3 Ah, not this guy again. Slimy little pile. Blech. Oh no. Okay, phew, at least that was easy. Okay, and then there's another item in this room. Forget what exactly it is. Uh, there's some enemies. Uh, I'm gonna run out of time. Okay. Oh no. You're kidding me. I'm gonna run out of time. Ah, PSI, rockin'. Anyway, I'll finish up this battle, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time for more Earthbound.